Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you what's in my pencil case and the pros and cons of the Zebra Sarasa pens and the Pentel Energy and the gel pen i'll be comparing them and basically showing you which one's the best so obviously i showed you guys what was in my pencil case in my what's my school bag video i'll show you what was in my pencil case at the start of the year so in here I have two Pentel Energel, two of these smooth gel pens from the works, two Papermate 0.7 flare pens, two Zebra Sarasa 0.7 pens, and then I have like four of these just normal Bic ballpoint pens. I have four Papermate mechanical pencils, my scissors, and then I have this set of three Bic four color pens. I have a Zebra Sarasa white pen, oh, and another Papermate flare. And then I have my glue stick, ruler and another mechanical pencil but now i think it's changed quite a lot and i'm on half term now so this is at the end of a half term what's in my pencil case and what my pencil case looks like so let's talk about the pentel energel pens and the zebra sarasa pens so i don't know how many of you know these pens actually have the same ink cartridges so i'm pretty sure in this one because i ended up getting a 0.7 tip as well so in this one there's a zebra sarasa ink cartridge in this one even though it's the barrel of a pencil and a gel pen so yeah i definitely prefer prefer the 0.7 to the 0.5 however this pen has completely run out obviously i still have the refill so i'm gonna put one back in um but yeah i think this pen has lasted since like september and it's february now this pen was definitely used a lot at the start of the year anyway so yeah they have the same ink cartridges and one thing that i've noticed about both of them as i said i got the 0.72 is that they actually run out quite quickly but not actually run out they just stop working so sometimes they're really inky and nice and then other times they're just reeky and don't really look nice and they're like drying out and less black and bold so i feel like for the price of these because the pentel and a gel is more expensive than the zebra sarasa i got a 12 pack of these for eight pounds i thought they were a really good pen but actually they're just an average gel pen and i'm sure you could find better ones elsewhere i hold my pens really close to the tip so i I've been liking this one more, but it makes my handwriting look different. Um, before, I liked this one because it's a lot thicker, but now I'm not really sure which one I like more. I don't know if it's just my experience with these pens that they keep running out, the ink isn't finished yet, but I don't think these are worth the money. You could just get a gel pen from anywhere like Tesco. Well, one of my friends has the Tesco home brand gel pens that they're kind of like a dupe of this, I guess, but it's really nice and it looks really nice and obviously it's a lot cheaper so i might get some of those when all of these are finished that's the contrast and compared of them that made no sense oh and also if you couldn't tell i am sick today i've got a cold and a sore throat so if i sound funny that's why and now onto these pens which i had at the start of the year too the silver one i actually don't know where it's gone i think i lent it to my friend and i think she still has it so mariam if you're watching this i need my pen back these pens are very nice i love the barrel of them i think they're really nice to write with i had these last school year as well and they still work all of them and the black one too and yeah they're cheap as well and i'm pretty sure like everyone has these pens they also now come in lots of different colors this one comes with yellow orange purple and pink i never use the yellow because it's too bright to be seen and it, you can barely see it on paper the orange is nice the purple is nice and the pink is nice this one has a green and a blue as well as purple and pink i think the blue is my favorite just because it's so vibrant and that's also why i have another blue pen here from bic and another purple one as well from the same company. I love these pens, they're really thick. 1.6 millimeters. These ones are 0 0.7, this is 1.6, so almost a whole millimeter bigger. And again, these are really nice to write with too, and obviously they're cheap as well. I don't even know where these are from. I had like 16 pack of lots of different colors. I'm sure there are multiple of blue and purple, but I feel like I've used all of the other ones, so these are the only ones I have left. At the start of the year, I had mechanical pencils. I've kind of just switched to normal pencils now because they're cheaper and 
I don't really use pencils that much, but with mechanical pencils, for some reason they always break. Well, those ones especially, because you, you twist them and the twist thing never worked. So I've just stuck with a normal pencil now and then I'll just sharpen it when I need to. Recently, I've just been using literally this pen that I got from the careers fair. It's like a company pen, Tainton's from the careers fair. And this is a lovely pen. It's like a biro. Sometimes the cheapest ones or the unbranded ones are just the best pens to use. The black ones of these pens have disappeared from existence. They're not in my room, they're not in my pencil case. Like I said, I, I will lose those ones a lot. I think I lose too much of my stuff. I need to try to be more careful with that. Now, my actual pencil case is still the same one, just with a hole in it. I don't even know where this hole came from. I think there was a small hole and then I started cutting it bigger. So there's now a hole in this pencil case. But yeah, it's still working. The zip is still just fine. And I love it. It's the perfect size. I also had my highlighters pencil case, but I realized that I don't always want to get that one out of my bag. So I just have these two highlighters in my black pencil case that you just saw. These are the Stedzler Text Surfer Classic. And I don't even know why, but they have two different like symbols on them. I think they're from a different packet, but I don't even know. Yeah, these are great. Obviously they're not as small as the Zebra Mild Liners because they're an actual highlighter size and not like the highlighter pen, but they're really nice and they do surf the text very smoothly. And I'm sure you can just get these from Amazon or Tesco or anywhere like that. They're quite common. So I just realized that I forgot to talk about the Zebra Mild Liners. I love these highlighters so much, but honestly, they aren't cheap. And I'm sure you could find alternatives that do pretty much the same thing for a lot less. So if you're thinking about buying them, then I would get them. But if you're kind of on the fence about whether you should spend the money or not, then maybe look into buying something else. These three Paper Mate flares are still in here and going strong. I'll use them for my titles. I use them to outline in DT and art. I use them to write sometimes if I'm like doing annotations because they're nice and thick. And yeah, these are really good pens actually. And they're very nice. I would actually really recommend these pens if you're looking for a marker. A glue stick, everyone needs a glue stick. It's just a print stick. I've also got a new addition. I have a Sharpie in my pencil case now. I don't know why. I think I just had a pack of Sharpies and I was like, oh, why don't I put one in my pencil case? The broken part of this pen. There we go, because that came off there. A rubber, a very beaten up rubber with an A engraved in the side of it for some reason and very dirty. Everyone always makes fun of me because my scissors are really small, but I'm like, what else am I supposed to have? They fit perfectly in my pencil case. And I don't know, all my friends are like, what? I love these scissors. And then this ruler, don't buy it because it goes like this. It opens like that. And then when you try to like write on it, it just goes like that and it bends like that. So don't buy it, it's a terrible ruler. I've had multiple rulers since September, but I wanna get one of those snappy ones again. <coughs> oh my gosh. I just realized that my camera was zooming in, so I'm sorry about that, but that's everything that's in my pencil case at the end of this half term. Um, thanks so much for watching. This video is filmed like the day before you're seeing it, I think, so I need to get editing. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you can comment, because recently my comments have been disabled, but I think I'll post a community tab that you guys can ask questions on, so if you're watching this, make sure you comment this emoji so I know that you watched the end of this video, and I'll see you in the next next one. Bye!